Morning guys and welcome to day 47 of the lockdown and again what a fantastic day it was gorgeous yesterday wasn't it so I did see some of you got out and did loads of it well posted exercises on Strava and things like that and that's just a little reminder that Russ Thorrington set up uh, a unique results Strava group a little while ago so um, get onto there. I can't remember off the top of my head the exact details for it. I think probably if you tap unique results into Strava, that'll come up. But I know that some of you are kind of posting your sessions and things in there. I know I saw uh, Matt Wilson uh, was out, I think, yesterday. I saw uh, David Kent down in Torquay did a massive uh, kind of six mile walk or something yesterday as well. So lots of you have been out and about and you can use that Strava group to uh, to to, um, to input, you know, cycles and runs and walks and all your list type stuff and your faster stuff if you're doing fast 5Ks and things like that. But that's a really good way to, uh, to keep on track uh, with everything. So today we've got a very busy morning. Obviously, we've got good class numbers. We've got gorgeous weather. So ideal to train outside. We've got kettlebells with me at 8 a.m. I think we've got 19 booked in for that. Then we've got spinning at 9 a.m. Did I say kettlebells at 9 or 8? Kettlebells at 8, spinning at 9. Uh, we've got 19 booked in for that with a very special total request spin today. And I've just posted into Facebook that what we're going to do is, same as last week, I'm going to go live uh, stream at 9 a.m. Uh, on Steph's, Steph St. Pierre's account, okay? If anything happens with that, we'll, we'll restart again. Uh, we'll have a little interval in the middle and then we'll restart with me uh, at, uh, um, straight afterwards on my uh, account, on the James St. Pierre account. But it'll all be streamed live, obviously, in Facebook, uh, in the group. So that's going to be really good. And then a little bit later on this morning, at about 11.15, uh, Mark will be doing uh, Pure Movement. So make sure you book him for, for whatever you want to do this morning. It's not too late to book if you want to join us today. Um, that would be really great. Uh, Claire shared a really nice little article uh, about Glenn Catley, the, uh, the boxer, actually, in the Facebook group, that that I didn't have time to read the day before, but I read uh, read uh, last night and commented on. Um, and I'm obviously a big boxing fan anyway, and I remember that was sort of 20 years ago when he won the super middleweight uh, world title out in Germany. So really nice uh, little piece. Um, he was using kind of hypnotherapy back then, and now he's a retired boxer, <clears throat> and he's uh, a sports, uh, I think, sports psychotherapist or psychologist and hypnotherapist as well at the moment. So um, that's well worth a read. And there's a couple of other bits that it, it brought memories up for me um, about stuff I'd done in the past, but also uh, with Steve Collins and Chris Eubank. If you're a fan of boxing in the 90s, there was a lot of controversy around um, around uh, hypnotherapy being used. Uh, Collins obviously beat uh, Eubank twice. He beat Ben twice. An absolute, you know, I think he's the Celtic warrior, wasn't he? Absolute sort of legend. Um, but he was using hypnotherapy back in the 90s to help with his boxing. So it all ties in with the kind of resilience training that we're doing at the moment. So if you haven't had a chance to read that article, um, get yourself a coffee this morning and read it. I'd really recommend you do. Um, today would have been the Tactical Strength Challenge, uh, May the 9th today. So I'm hoping that most of you or all of you uh, who had registered for the Tactical Strength I know I'd stopped kind of obviously pushing it a little while ago when we when all this was starting to happen. So I don't think there were too many of you maybe who'd signed up in advance. But if you haven't already, hopefully it's not too late still, but you might be able to still go on to strongfirst.com through to Throwdowns and um, amend your registration and default your uh, or defer your uh, entry to the October Tactical Strength Challenge, which we'll be hosting and holding at Unique Results um, as normal by then, I'm sure. Okay, so um, and I just want to say thank you to. For, I've got lots of positive uh, comments, uh, emails, and personal messages about my post I did yesterday about my kind of thoughts around reopening the studio and not kind of rushing into it as soon as we physically can and just throwing the doors open and trying to get everyone back in, but really taking some time to learn the lessons that we will find from this period and create something better and not just on a personal level and a professional level and for all of us I think not just falling back into the old way of doing things so I just want to say thank you I've got some lovely emails and some uh, some really nice messages after that and people very supportive of the kind of the, the approach that I'm going to try and take with it because um, I think everyone's kind of okay everyone's enjoying what they're doing at the moment and I know we all have a different experience at the moment and like I said yesterday some people are really craving that connection and that getting back in and I can fully understand that it's just important that we do that at a, 
in a sensible, safe, uh, conscious and managed way uh, that's best for, for everyone, um, you know, from a kind of uh, community perspective, from a health perspective, from a, from a, from a business perspective, for, from everything. So, uh, so that's really good. So hope you had a lovely day yesterday. It was fantastic. Went out for some nice walks and, you know, that real, that bit of I post the other day from Chet, which said about how things seem to have gone back 30 years um, and move forward at the same time, you know, just walking and just having, seeing lots of people sat in their front gardens, you know, and, and talking with neighbours and everyone who you, who you pass says hello to you. And, you know, you look at a stranger and <clears throat> the thing, the, the first thing you think is a nod and hello. It's not suspicion. And, uh, you know, it, it's really different, wasn't it? It's really, really lovely. A lot of the elements that are happening, um, obviously there's a lot of elements that aren't, aren't particularly pleasant, but, but a lot of the positives, if you look for them, are there. Okay, so have a fantastic uh, day today. If I sent you the recording, I'm pretty sure I did forget Alex, but I did send Alex yesterday um, for the resilience training session three. If I sent you the recording, try and get that done this weekend so that you're kind of up to date. And then you've got next sort of Monday to Thursday to get ready for session four. So we're already halfway through. So make sure you try and watch that this weekend. And, um, and I will catch up with you first thing uh, tomorrow morning. And I should obviously say, I'll see many of you in kettlebells and many of you in spinning. Uh, but whatever you're up to today, have a fantastic day and, uh, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Okay, Stay safe, stay strong. Catch up soon. Bye.